This is the Titan direct drive lock from Sargent and Greenleaf and it's the standard lock Certified Safes Ireland use on all of their safes. Now this lock should not be confused with the type of thing you might get on a hardware store bought safe that has a little digital pad on it. This is a completely different animal. This has been developed for military use. It's used by the Danish Army and it's used by the American Air Force to name just two organizations. Um, it's actually EMP resistant. So even if an electromagnetic pulse was to happen, this lock will still operate as normal. Now it's a direct drive lock, which means that I turn the keypad to activate the lock. Now I'm just gonna put the default code in, one, two, three, four, five, six, and open the lock to show you what I mean. Now you can see the blue tab is now in the open position. And you see a lock symbol there. That opens our safe, opens our unit. And to lock, I just turn the keypad back to the left and I get two beeps, okay? That's direct drive. Now, this is a multi-user lock. Now, what multi-user means is I can have two master codes. Now, a master can add and delete other codes. And I can have seven user codes. A user can only change their own code. They can't add or delete other codes. Now, this can be very, very useful in both the domestic or commercial setting because it means I could assign someone, say, to position three and they can only change their own code. So if it's a business, a business can have a separate code for each member of staff. For a homeowner, we could have two master codes and we could add someone into position three and let's say just keep that as an auxiliary code. And let's say the homeowner was to go away on holidays, there was to be an emergency and for some reason they had to get either a member of their family or someone else to access their safe to retrieve documents or something like that. You could then give that code to whoever that trusted party is. They can go to the lock, use the code to access the documents, and when the homeowner returns, you can just delete that code position. So you're not compromising your own codes and you have complete control over who accesses your safe. Now, the next thing I want to talk about with this lock is duress. And this lock is also duress compatible. Now what duress means is, if you're put in a duress situation, someone's threatening you to open your safe, you can se send a silent signal directly to your alarm monitoring station and therefore to the police. Now the way that works is, this keypad plugs into a module like this. Now this is a VDS class three alarm module that goes on the inside of the door of the safe. So I just have a picture up there of the module mounted on the inside of the door of a safe. It's not this particular safe, by the way, it's a different safe, but you can see what I mean and where the module sits. Now that module is plugged into the lock of the safe, but it's also wired back to your alarm panel. Now one very, very important point about adding duress to a safe is that wiring all happens inside the safe. I have on occasion seen people fit these units and they have a door loop on the outside of the safe. That means you now have a hole in the door of your safe. Your safe door is compromised. It also advertises to anyone that you have duress there. And it even allows an opportunity for someone to interfere with your duress because they have access directly into your module. It's, it's an insane way to do things and it's not the correct way to do things. I put a picture on the screen there now. You can see a correctly wired module and you can see the wiring is on the inside of the door and the cable will go back and out the back of the safe onto your alarm panel. So it's not obvious straight away. So what happens in a duress situation is you put your code in, but you vary the digit by one. So if my code was one, two, three, four, five, six, I might go one, two, three, four, five, seven. The lock will behave as normal, but a silent alarm has been sent. So in a domestic situation, the police will respond very quickly if they get a duress signal like that, because it's basically a panic signal. And in a commercial situation, I may even have time delay on top of that. So the people are gonna to have to wait, plus the police are on the way. So it's a very, very powerful deterrent in a, in a commercial situation. And that brings me on to the next thing I wanna talk about. I mentioned time delay. For commercial purposes, this lock can be programmed from anything from a one to 99 minute time delay. Now what time delay means is, if I, let's say I set it for a five minute time delay, I put in my code, it starts to count down for five minutes. 
and at the end of those five minutes it allows me a one minute window to come back put my code in and open the safe only the person who set the time delay in operation can actually come back and open the safe the window the time window that it allows you to get to the safe and reopen it can be varied from one to nine minutes so you know you won't have a problem if, if it's something that you're in a busy place like a, a, say a restaurant for example and you think well I, I may be held up for a minute you could program in a three minute window so that's in there but that's purely a commercial probably a commercial use you'd have for a time delay the last function I want to mention is dual control dual control I have seen used in domestic settings and in commercial settings and what dual control means is if I activate dual control two codes are going to be required to open the safe so in a domestic setting it could be just two people have to monitor whatever it is you're taking in of the safe for your own reasons um, none of our business and in a commercial setting it might be the same situation or it might be for example that cash is being picked up by CIT and you want to have CIT have one code and a member of staff have the other code so you have double verification of the fact that the pickup has happened etc etc and then once it's closed no single person can open that again now the last thing I just want to mention is power and um, it's another um, problem with a lot of cheap locks that the power tends to be on the inside of the safe and the power goes down you can't get into your safe or worse this lock has an indelible memory so if power was to fail here for a year as long as you know what your codes are you can repower your lock and get in to the safe the power in the keypad will last three or four years and when you are running low on power and you put your code in it will give you four sharp beeps in a row to let you know I'm running low on power the battery is a 9 volt alkaline battery and if you see this little tab here just pull that forward and twist it the battery is right here easy to change you can buy that in the hardware stick it in there and off you go if there's a break in and someone smashes that pad to bits once we can get at the cable of the lock and once you have your codes we can just reattach a new cable and you're straight into your safe so with a digital lock of course you don't have the problem of keys and losing keys and keys being copied and all that kind of thing so that's it that's an overview of the Titan the Sergeant Greenleaf Titan direct drive lock it's the standard lock on all certified safe Ireland safes and I think now you can see why it's EMP resistant incredibly flexible it does everything I can possibly think of you would need out of a safe lock and it's 100% reliable